Hello everyone, welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Today we look at a UK gangster whose story will never be forgotten about. Mr. John Dennis Arthur Binden was born on the 4th of October 1943 and was an English actor and bodyguard who was known to have very close links with the UK criminal underworld. The son of a London cab driver, Mr. Binden was frequently in and out of trouble as a youth for constantly getting into fights, which inevitably ended up in him spending two separate periods in a borstal. He was spotted in a London pub by Ken Loach who asked him to star in his film Poor Cow in 1967. The film was a success and the other film and television productions followed with Mr. Binden being sought after to play his gangster persona or tough police detective role. He played a violent mobster alongside Mick Jagger in a performance in 1970 and a London crime boss in Get Carter in 1971. Philip Poiré described Mr. Binden as the archetypal actor, villain and all-round good geezer. He was also known for having many socialite girlfriends in his heyday, such as Christine Keeler and Serena Williams, the former Playboy Bunny Girl, and Vicky Hodge, who was alleged had a 12-year abusive relationship with Mr. Binden. Through Miss Hodge, who was the daughter of a baronet, Mr. Binden had gained access to the inner circles of British aristocracy, which he said eventually led to his meeting with Princess Margaret in the late 1960s. This meeting had took place at her home, which was on the island of Mystique in the Caribbean. Mr. Binden had claimed that he had a sexual relationship with the princess, whilst Princess Margaret later denied the meeting had ever took place at all. This was despite there being photographic evidence of the two together. Mr. Binden had lived his hard man persona on and off screen. He was believed to be running protection rackets in the West London pubs and was alleged to have connections to many of the most notorious crime outfits across the city. These included the Cray Twins and the Richardson Gang. In the late 1970s, in addition to acting work he was doing, he decided to provide security for many actors and musicians, most notoriously for Led Zeppelin on their 1977 US tour. However, it was on this same tour that he was sacked for having a fight backstage. In 1978, Mr. Binden was put on trial for the murder of well-known London gangster Johnny Dark. Mr. Binden pleaded self-defence and was acquitted of the charge. But the case damaged his reputation in the entertainment industry, and that incident along with it being known it was very difficult to work with Mr. Binden by directors meant his acting career started to decline. Mr. John Binden was born in Fulham, London, and was the son of Dennis Binden, a merchant seaman and engineer turned cab driver. He was the second eldest in a working class family of three children. Mr. Binden went to Henry Compton School in Fulham, but left at the age of 15, where he was given the nickname Biffo for always starting or getting into fights. As a teenager, he served time in a boar store for possessing live ammunition. After jobs ranging from laying asphalt to dealing in antiques, with his best friend for several years being the glamorous and now infamous international antiques dealer Mr. John Hobbs, Mr. Binden, however, eventually pursued a career in acting. In 1968, he met Vicky Hodge, a baronet's daughter who was a model and actress. She had introduced him to the inner circles of British aristocracy. Once Mr. Binden worked his way up the social ladder, he was invited to the Caribbean island resort of Mystique, where Mr. Binden claimed to have a sexual relationship with Princess Margaret. The biographer of Princess Margaret, Noel Botham, was also of the opinion that Mr. Binden had in fact had an affair with the princess. It was during this time that Mr. Binden gained the nickname Big John. This was due to the reported overwhelming size of his penis. It was also reported that he did go back to Mystique for a second time in 1969 and took his girlfriend Miss Hodge with him. The princess later publicly denied meeting Mr. Binden whatsoever. This was despite pictures of them being released of them sitting next to one another and Princess Margaret was reportedly very unimpressed to hear allegations of sexual encounters involving herself being published in the press. Mr. Binden was also awarded the Queen's Award for Bravery, a police bravery medal. He received this for diving off Putney Bridge into the River Thames to rescue a drowning man. This incident happened in 1968, however, there were rumours that he had pushed the man in himself and only rescued him when a policeman had appeared. It was well known amongst friends and enemies that Mr. Binden had a very, very violent temper and a naturally intimidating personality. He was accused of running a protection racket in West London, targeting pubs, restaurants and cafes. There are also suggestions of connections to the Richardson Gang and the Cray Twins, who had backed and supported his control of West London. They did this as well as back his rivalries with opposing gangs from South London. 
The South London rivalries were what some have suggested to be a major factor in contributing to his bankruptcy when he began to accrue drug debts. The true extent of his involvement in the English and UK underworld has never been reliably fully understood or established. Mr Bindon's best known film roles were for his appearance in Get Carter in 1971 and the Who's film Quadrophenia which was released in 1979 where he played as a drug dealer. He also appeared in television series such as Public Eye, The Gold Rubbers, Department S, Dixon of Doc Green, Zed Cars, Paul Temple and Special Branch, playing out his usual tough guy roles. Despite having a productive film and television career, Mr Binden felt he needed a break from acting and decided to go into organising security. It was to be a move which would have disastrous personal and financial consequences for him. In early 1977, Mr Binden was hired by Peter Grant on advice from tour manager Richard Cole, a security coordinator for the rock group Led Zeppelin, during their upcoming concert tour of the United States. He had previously provided security for actors Ryan and Tatum O'Neill. An incident involving Mr Binden occurred at the band's concert at the Oakland Coliseum on 23rd of July 1977, near the end of their US tour. Upon arrival at the stadium, it is alleged that Mr Binden pushed a member of the promoter Bill Graham's stage crew out of the way as the band entered via a backstage ramp. As a result, tension had been simmering between Mr Graham's staff and Led Zeppelin's security team during the day's performances. And as Mr Grant and Mr Binden were walking down the ramp near the end of the concert, words were exchanged with the stage crew chief Mr Jim Downey, which resulted in Mr Binden knocking Mr Downey out cold. Mr Binden maintained that he was goaded into the fight after Mr Graham's crew referred to him as a weak, limey fuck. Just minutes later, a separate offstage incident had occurred. Bill Graham's security man, Jim Mazorkis, was accused of slapping Peter Grant's 11-year-old son, Warren, for taking a dressing room sign, and as a result of doing that, was savagely beaten up by Mr Grant's crew. Led Zeppelin's second Oakland show was only able to take place after Bill Graham signed a letter of indemnification absolving Led Zeppelin from any responsibility for the previous night's incident. However, Mr Graham refused to honour the letter and assault charges were laid against Mr Grant, Mr Cole, Mr Biden and John Bonham when the band arrived back at their hotel. The four received bail and later pleaded no contest, receiving suspended sentences. Mr Binden was dismissed by the band and returned to England. Mr Grant later said that allowing Mr Binden to be hired was the biggest mistake that he had ever made as a manager. In 1978, Mr Binden became involved in a fight with John Dark, a well-known London gangster. This fight took place outside the Rainley Yacht Club in Fulham, London. Mr Dark was stabbed nine times, resulting in his death and Mr Binden managed to flee to Dublin with his own knife wounds covered up. He gave himself up to police and was subsequently tried at the Old Bailey in October 1979. The prosecution claimed that this was a £10,000 contract killing over drugs, with the fight as a cover for the death. However, the defence argued that Mr Dark's death was in self-defence, saying that Mr Binden was in fear of his life, as he was being blackmailed about losing drug money and cocaine worth thousands of pounds. Mr Binden was acquitted of Mr Dark's murder in November 1979. It was reported that the substantial appearance of actor Bob Hoskins as a character witness at the trial helped sway the jury's verdict and that the judge, Sir William Mars Jones, had been sympathetic towards Mr Binden in his summing up and unhappy with the rebag of witnesses who had been produced by the prosecution. The media reports of the trial, along with the Oakland incident, seriously damaged Mr Binden's reputation. There were, at the time, many other various allegations of a similar violent nature outstanding against him, and he found it increasingly difficult to find any work in the entertainment industry. This was additionally attributed to his reputation for being difficult to work with on set, as much as to his alleged connections to organised crime. It was reported that during the 1980s, Mr Binden became a much more reclusive figure, spending much more of his time at the Belgravia flat. He died on the 10th of October, 1993, aged 50. Some news sources reported that he died from cancer, and other sources state that he died of an age-related illness, and we were unable to find any definitive answer. John Binden, the crimes he committed, and the life that he lived will never be forgotten in the UK criminal underworld. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe.